guys and welcome back to Nature Matters Academy. So this week we are answering the question, what is the difference between a pine, a spruce, and a fir? And it's surprisingly simple. It's one of those things you just got to get out there and do. And so what I want to tell you about first is a pine. So this is a ponderosa pine. And um, one way that you can tell the difference between a, woo, the wind's a little strong up here. Uh, the one way you can tell the difference between a pine tree versus a spruce or a fir is the fact that their needles occur in groups. So they come off of the branch in a group or a cluster. So ponderosa pines come in clusters of three. And um, another tree that we have that's real common in this area are pinyon pines. Those come in clusters of two. Wherever you are in your region, pines typically come in clusters of two, three, and five. And so you can kind of look around for them that way. So the way that you differentiate a pine tree from a fir or a spruce is the fact that it's going to have needles and clusters, whereas spruce and fir trees are going to have the one needle coming directly off the branch. All right, so the next tree I want to talk about is the fir tree. And um, remember the difference between a pine and say a fir or a spruce is the pine has its needles and clusters versus the fir and the spruce have the needles growing directly from the branch. And that's the case here on this uh, fir tree. And the way that we tell the difference between a fir and a spruce, sorry, out of focus, is the fact that the needles are flat. So here's the test. If you can put a needle between your fingers and if you move your fingers back and forth and if it rolls, then it's a spruce. If it doesn't roll, like this one is not rolling, then it's a fir. And basically by it not rolling, it means that it's flat. The spruce needles are going to be square in shape, so they're gonna roll easily between your fingers. So this is an example of a fir tree, and um, I believe it's a white fir. I'm still learning some of my trees that are higher up on the mountain because there's something that um, we're not very familiar with. But I believe this is a white fir, but I know for certain that it's a fir tree because number one, the needles are connected directly to the branch, and number two, the needles are flat, and when we do the roll test, they don't roll. All right, guys, so we're at our last tree type, which is the spruce, and um, we've been looking for one for a while, and we finally found one. And let me show you how it's a little bit different. So um, if you can see, I'm rolling my fingers, and the needle is actually um, rolling. Ah, that's a better example. Do you see that? How easily it rolls between my fingers. It's very, very windy and it's um, sun's going down and it's getting cold. So anyway, spruce again, you're looking at one needle attached directly to the branch and what makes it different from a fir is that it, um, it's square shaped. So in between your fingers, it can roll. Whereas the firs, when you do this, basically your, your fingers are just sliding. They're not rolling at all. So that's how you tell the difference between a fir and a spruce. So really your challenge for today is to get outside and find something that looks like a Christmas tree. So anything that looks like a Christmas tree is probably going to end up being a pine, spruce, or fir. And then once you, once you find it, go and look closely at the needles. And then you're going to be able to tell the difference if it's a pine, a spruce, or a fir. And this is really fun. This is a great way to get your kids outside and really looking a little bit more closely at the trees. All right, hope you guys have fun. Leave comments below if you have any questions or if you just want to share how your adventure went. Okay, bye.